Seeing a group of steer running around would make you think this is a ranch or a farm, but it's actually right behind the football field of Tippecanoe Valley High School. It's all part of the school's Farm to Fork program. With the Farm to Fork program, uh, I guess I or my, my class, uh, some of my ag students are in charge of, I guess, maintaining, making sure that uh, the cattle are uh, checked every day and uh, things of that sort. We go out and we'll check the cows and make sure like they have enough food and enough water and that like their noses aren't running and that they're okay and not sick. And the students in the agriculture class do more than simply make sure their cattle are doing well. Uh, my ag construction class got built uh, the shelter uh, that's out there for them that they can get in and out of wind and rain and snow and things like that. The unique thing about this program was that the idea to pursue it didn't come from the agriculture students. It came from students in a social studies class. We were identifying uh, problems in, in uh, um, the school or in the community, things that uh, um, entrepreneurs might take on, and, and the topic of school lunch came up, which sounds uh, a, a little bit uh, uh, like, it, like it's not a big deal when you look at a, a societal problem. Bringing food into schools from locally sourced places, however, has become more and more prevalent in the past few years. Most of the time, if it's locally sourced food, uh, we know that there's probably a lot less additives added to it. Um, that it's probably going to be healthier. It didn't come from, we didn't ship it in from another country or 3,000 miles away. Uh, it's going to be fresher because of uh, the transportation uh, that it takes to, the lack of time it takes to get here. And farm to table sustainability type programs are also being seen as very important in this day and age. We talked about getting kids to understand where their food comes from. And it's, it's very important to understand that it doesn't just come out of a drive through window and uh, we're, we're looking at healthy al alternatives that we're trying to provide with our students. I think it's a great opportunity for uh, students to uh, gain some responsibility, uh, having to take care of the cattle and, and things like that, but then also to understand where food comes from, where quality food comes from, and in a, a local uh, rural community uh, to understand that just with a few acres of, of ground you can um, grow or produce, in the case of cattle, uh, a quality food product for, for your family. Um, e you don't have to have a, a large operation to, to put some meat in the freezer and, and to put uh, food on the table. A majority of our citizens are two generations removed from the family farm. Uh, so even though we're in a very rural community here, uh, we still have a lot of people who just don't know where our food comes from, uh, how it's raised, how it's processed, and how it eventually gets to our table. Uh, so our kids, our students get to see that firsthand here. I even got to meet some of the students who are part of the program and found out what brought them to it. I do 4-H, so it's always been, been, I've always been around animals. So being able to have cows here that we can go out and see every day, it's fun and a new thing. I'm a farm kid, so just kind of automatically jumped into the agricultural program, and um, I like learning new things about animals, so with that comes, you know, being able to check up on them and stay updated. I was really interested in, like, the cows and, like, the animal science um, class, and I really enjoy what we do in there. The biggest measure of success, of course, is how well the product turns out. In this case, the students get to have what are known as Viking burgers. But are they a hit with the rest of the school? The Viking burgers go quick. Um, kids love them, and uh, you know they, we we uh, we run out of beef pretty quick when it's our our own beef. The students like knowing where their meat is coming from instead of not being sure, and I think that they like seeing the progress throughout the year of the growth of the steers that we have out there. I think everybody finds it cool that we have our own animals that we're raising out behind the school, and that it gets it brings it to us, and we know where it's coming from and the process that it's going into to be able to enjoy those. The program doesn't just teach the students about sustainability in schools, it also teaches them about sustainability in the local community. The other part that we do is when we when we do process all the beef, uh, we, we tithe 10% uh, back to one of our uh, local food pantries and, and we provide them with, uh, with ground beef for, for people in the community in need. And our students are, are a part of that and, and they, they see uh, the, the need that is out there within the community. In the end, Farm to Fork is about more than just providing students with locally sourced food. It's about teaching them how to work together to make a difference in a changing world. We've got students who, um, who, who work in agriculture, have, have grown up on farms, but then we've got a large percentage of students who, who don't have that experience. So 
getting those students to work together on this project has, has been very meaningful and um, we, we've just really appreciated the collaboration with uh, Mr. Jones and Mr. Shriver on, on putting this together.